All right, guys, during this quarantine, uh, I'm just doing a lot of stuff around the house. And one thing that just happened recently was um, our sewage got backed up. So I might as well do a quick how-to video. Um, I think I did one before, but I'm not sure. But hey, this is a 2020 how-to video to clean your clean out. So check it out. And now, your mama knows. All right, first things first is you gotta find your clean out. So here's mine, but I also gotta dig it up a little bit. Um, so this is good enough just so I could actually get to this part right here. And then I'm gonna use the channel locks and twist it open. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I got it loose. And there go the abyss down there all right so I actually own one of these things you could usually rent them for about 50 something dollars um, and I'm gonna have to take this snake it down there and I actually bought some extra some of these because I want to use this one and not that one and then also I might use this one as well but um yeah so let's get this thing switched out and get ready to rock and roll. So this part is simple, it's just a screw. And you're just gonna screw this out and swap in the next one. No big deal for this part. And I have a big issue. This piece can't fit in this slot. It's too big. So, gotta return these. That sucks. All right, so one of the most needed tools in this whole process is this, a flashlight. Cause you're gonna have to actually look down and see if water is going. Now you guys can't really see, but right now, uh, no water is coming at all. And water should be going because I have my tub on. So let's see how the tub is filled up right now. So check it out. Look at that. The tub is filling up and it's not going down at all. So, uh, let's go back out there. All right, so this machine is super simple. However, it is very dangerous. These threads, uh, the cord itself is really powerful. So you're gonna step on this and it's gonna spin. So all you're simply gonna do is I'm gonna start feeding it through the hardest part is when it gets to the bottom, making sure it goes under the house versus under the street. So I'm gonna throw my gloves on. And we're gonna start snaking. So you just pull it out, just like that. And start going down. What I'm gonna have to do is when I get to the bottom, is use my flashlight. And I'm gonna have to make sure the way it's turning is if it's actually going under the house. If you go under the street, you can have some issues if it damage anything. And I'll make sure I get it the right way. Because right now, it's aiming in the wrong direction. Okay. That might be better. Right, let's see. You gotta push it down a little bit, see if it catch, and it caught. So, it caught. Now I gotta make sure if it's going the right way. That's the problem. And it is not going the right way. So I'm gonna pull it up and kind of bounce it around see if I can get it to go in the right way <laughs> all right so I'll come back once I get this going all right so I finally got it to go in the right direction and I pretty much just had to pick it up and put it down and make it 
touch the bottom of the ground and then turn this on and as it starts spinning, start pushing it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step on this with my foot and then uh, it's gonna start spinning and I'm gonna keep feeding it through. We got the water on down there in both bathrooms. So it's filling up. So we should hear like a pop sound and then the water start gushing. So. So the way you do this is you just step on the thing and when you step on it, it turns on. But again, this thing is kind of dangerous, so I won't go step by step, but I'm gonna step on it, just keep feeding it through, and then I'll come back and let you guys see, but get a little bit of this. You wanna pull piece by piece and pull and push. So one hand is pulling, the other hand is pushing, and as it goes through, because it's spinning, it's just gonna keep going all the way through. Sometimes you'll feel like it's resistance, it's not going, but it's gonna keep, oh, there we go. Listen. Yep. We got it. Look at all that water. So, wherever it was at, we barely put that much in there and we found the clog already. So there you go. So now with this, it got a reverse, but you don't want to use it because um, it's too powerful. Like I said, you're just going to pull it up yourself. And this was super fast. One of the easiest times I ever had to do it. We barely got any in there. Let's see if anything is on it. So, could have been paper or something, I don't know. All right guys, so that's pretty much a quick tutorial, a how-to video of how you clean your, uh, your clean out. And my cameraman, Bobby, right here, gotta give him some spotlight. So, um, yeah, so uh, hopefully, you know, if it happens to you and you got a clean out in the front of your yard, you just simply go and rent one of these things and handle it. And with that said, now your mama knows. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And now, your mama knows.